The Vapure Eclipse water bottle is great for what it is, up to one liter of capacity or 0.7 liters, depending on what you go with, and it's optimized for travel. It's highly compressible, and you can just stow it away into your bag when it's not in use. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we love helping people optimize their travel experience with guides and reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. So let's jump right into our review of the Vapure Eclipse water bottle, a bottle that we've been testing for over a year. Let's jump in. The Eclipse version of Vapure's water bottles all come with a matte finish and there are a ton of different colors available. We personally dig the matte look, however, with a bunch of usage, it can start to chip off over time. There are a ton of other choices in style as well, in addition to the matte version. We have the night blue version, which features an orange carabiner clip, and then we have the blackout version for testing as well. That's gonna be a black bottle, black branding, and a black carabiner clip. From a branding perspective, you'll basically just have one Vapure logo on the bottle and they don't overdo the branding. The bottle material is made with a BPA-free polyethylene and nylon that's welded at the edges to hold it together. This thing comes in at two sizes, one liter and 0.7 liters. However, in the compressed state, they're both basically the same size, the majority of the space being taken up by the carabiner and the cap. You just have a little bit extra width, a little bit extra fabric that's rolled up. It's really easy to compress. Just make sure it's empty, open up the flap on that super cap, roll it up, toss the carabiner clip to hold that rolled material in place. In a previous review, we have covered the No Matter collapsible bottle as well. However, we found that this is just way too bulky compared to the Vapure Eclipse. And if you're really looking for a compressible water bottle, the size that it is while it's compressed is a huge thing. This is where Vapure really shines, creating a very small footprint and access to a vessel that holds 0.7 to 1 liters of water, depending on the size that you choose. This is perfect for having an empty water bottle in your carry-on without taking up extra space. So say you're at the airport or something, just pop through security, then you can fill this up once you are passed and you don't have to spend like 12 bucks on a bottle of water at the airport and when you're just gonna throw away the water bottle when you're done anyways. With that major compressibility comes a couple concessions though. Although you can put this water bottle into a freezer with liquid to have ice inside and keep your drink cold, there's no additional insulation that's gonna keep your liquids hot or cold. How much do you care about cold water on the go? Our team is split. I personally don't mind it, however, some other folks on our team want cold water while they're traveling. We took a poll over on our Instagram and we love sharing the results here. If you wanna be involved for future polls, head over to Instagram and follow at PackHacker. Anyways, if you're looking for an insulated bottle, you might wanna check out like a clean canteen or a swell bottle, ones that are metal and non-compressible. Just remember though, this is where the Vapure excels, is in the compressibility of the bottle when not in use. Another bonus of Vapure is the included carabiner clip that you can hang off of backpacks even when your bag doesn't offer water bottle compartments. So we're looking right at you, Patagonia Arbor Pack. Depending on where you have this clipped and the size of the bottle, it can be a little bit awkward and flail around a little bit. So just note that, especially if you have the leader version, it's a lot bigger and if it's just hanging around, you know, near the strap of your bag, it could kind of flop around quite a bit as you're moving around. Vapure's newest innovation is offering a filter straw in a lot of their bottles as well. We found this to be just okay in practice. A life straw does a lot better of a job in changing the flavor of water. Vapure will filter the water, but it won't change the flavor. It'll just remove the bacteria. Also with it installed, it can be a tad hard to suck the water out of the Vapure. And lastly, with that filter in place, you lose just about everything that you want with a bottle like this, which is that high compressibility where you can just kind of compress it, stow it away in your bag, Sure, you can have like a separate case or a bag for the filter, but then you're gonna be removing that every time you wanna compress. Just sounds like a lot of work to us. Cleaning is easy if you have a dishwasher, just pop it in and you're good to go. Everything is dishwasher safe. However, when you're on the road, you may not always have access to a dishwasher and it's really important to keep this clean, especially if you're hopping from country to country and just picking up all the bacteria 
from the water source everywhere you go. Although the mouth of the bottle is super wide, it's hard to fit a rag or a sponge inside unless you have a special bottle cleaner. When you're on the road, we found the best way to clean this thing is to soak it with warm water and soap and kind of rub it around a little bit and let it soak and then wash it out as well as you can. At the time of this review, we've been testing the one liter night blue version for over a year. We also have the one liter blackout version with the filter and the 0.7 liter night blue version. So far, this has held up with no leaks or implications to the functionality of the water bottle. It does have a lot of aesthetic dings going on and the matte coating has pretty much scraped entirely off. However, it's still working like a charm after over a year of use. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, the Vapure Eclipse water bottle folds up smaller, lays flat for optimal packing. The versatile self-compressing carabiner clip makes for quick storage and attachment. It's made of strong, durable material that's held up for over a year. Vapure says that their bottles will last for up to three to four years. On to some of the cons, there is no insulation. That means there's no way to keep your liquid cold or warm. It's less rigid than a water bottle, which can make for awkward drinking at times, especially when it's about halfway full. Lastly, the matte coating chips off with usage. The Vapure Eclipse water bottle is great for what it is, a self-compressing, highly portable water bottle that you can utilize in a pinch. Although it doesn't keep your water cool and the filtering system isn't flexible, compromising the compressibility, these are minor cons considering you have one liter capacity of water at your fingertips. This becomes especially apparent when you ditch that expensive single use airport bottled water. Thanks for taking a look at our review on the Vapier Eclipse water bottle. Be sure to head over to packacker.com slash newsletter, sign up for that newsletter and never miss an update. See you in the next one. Much of a difference. <laughs> I feel like this review has been so serious and then I'm just wearing this ridiculous Hawaiian shirt. I mean, look at this. Look.